There's a tremendous amount of interest and hype around the use of machine learning and AI. Lots of money is pouring into the technology industry, targeting companies having the promise to solve some of healthcare's most complex problems. Large payers and providers are internally developing machine learning and AI strategies because there's a perceived sense of urgency to bring these technologies to the company so that they're not missing out on the promise. As a result, there are lots of terms being thrown around, like machine learning, neural networks, genetic algorithms, big data, cloud-based computing, and deep learning. At the same time, the business problems that we're trying to solve for and the underlying technologies are complex and they're rapidly changing. In order to begin to identify solutions, we must first understand some terms that we use in the industry. So let's try and unpack all of this. First, let's get some basic definitions out of the way. Google Dictionary says that artificial intelligence is the automation of activity that humans typically perform, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. Let's break that down even further. Visual perception automation has many applications in healthcare, allowing us to identify and characterize visual patterns in digital image data. We can leverage facial recognition algorithms when taking a mobile drug test to confirm that it is in fact you when you're taking the test, uh, using the breathalyzer to confirm abstinence as part of an ongoing alcohol abuse recovery program. Or we can identify patterns of interstitial opacity in the lung on an x-ray to aid in improving radiological findings that support differential diagnosis of which interstitial lung disease you might have. Speech recognition automates the process of taking digital voice recording and translating it to digital text often used by physicians in dictating clinical notes, which can then be stored in the electronic medical record. Decision support applications allow us to aid in decision making by alerting or notifying us of a problem such as dropping oxygenation when monitoring in the ICU, or by predicting which of several interstitial lung diseases a patient might have based on combinations of pathological and radiological findings. More advanced applications make recommendations on potential intervention or treatment. Language translation automates the process of converting digital text from one language to another. This is particularly important with medical journals and clinical trials where text is needed to be disseminated often from English to multiple languages. Medical terminology is almost its own language, often requiring a deep understanding of the content which can ref be reflected in medical terminology databases and leveraged in decision support applications, including translation of unstructured text or free text to structured or coded text for identification of information from transcribed notes not captured in the diagnosis and procedure codes in the medical record. To enable these types of automation, we need to bring a whole variety of technologies to the table. We'll need to leverage tools and technologies that provide data integration and storage, feature engineering, predictive modeling, and recommendation engines and analytics. Google, Amazon, Microsoft, they've all brought these technologies to the cloud, making them more generally available to data science and analysts. To integrate and store, data companies use tools like Amazon Snowball, S3, Glacier, that provide advanced data capabilities to send and receive and rationalize vast amounts of data from multiple source systems such as medical records, member patient surveys, revenue cycle management systems, claim systems, remote monitoring systems, and other kinds of uh, healthcare systems. Feature engineering enriches source data so that it's usable for application users, predictive models, recommendation and optimization engines, and analytics. By example, a member's address is useful for a member service representative, while distance calculated from the member to the primary care provider is useful for predicting whether a member is likely to engage with their PCP. Back to the example of predicting interstitial lung opacity, even that prediction can be used as an enrichment opportunity that can, in fact, be used to, in further diagnosing the patient's disease. Then comes predictive modeling, the formal process of leveraging data to make predictions about current need and condition and or future outcomes and events. Machine learning is one of several predictive modeling methods that can be used to build AI applications. In fact, most real world problem solving applications leverage multiple techniques from computer science, applied mathematics, 
operations research, and other disciplines when solving for the business problem. It's important to recognize that there is, in fact, a difference between thinking about AI and machine learning. Google Dictionary says that machine learning is a program or system that builds or trains a predictive model from input data. The system uses a learned model to make useful predictions from new, never-before-seen data drawn from the same distribution as the one used to train that model. Machine learning also refers to the field of study concerned with these programs or systems. Armed with highly enriched data from multiple sources, including predictions, like what disease a patient has and how they might behave after discharge from the hospital, we can now make recommendations on what an appropriate treatment might be for their condition and what kind of home and community-based care management service might make the most sense to provide for them so that we can help the patient avoid a readmission. In summary, it helps me to think about this in the following way. The industry is making a huge push towards the use of machine learning and AI. However, both the business and use cases and use of technologies to solve for them is complex and requires a deeper understanding of what these technologies are and where they can be applied. There's a logical framework for thinking about machine learning and AI. AI is a very broad-based characterization of what human capabilities can be automated, while machine learning is a set of algorithms that learn from data to make useful predictions. Oh,